Good morning, my name is Miguel Oliveros. I'm an associate professor here at the Universidad Nebrija in Madrid, and to be precise, at the Faculty of Communications and Arts. Since 2015, I've carried out field studies across the militarized European, North African, and Balkan borders, as well as hotspots, and I've also visited uh, refugee camps in Central America. Most recently, I carried out a field study in Argelia during Ramadan 2019. All this work has led to very interesting collaborations with organizations such as the OSCE, the European Asylum Support Office, as well as activists, lawyers, and human rights workers. In this video, in the next video that I'm going to show you, you're going to be introduced to the case study of Argelia, which I think is quite relevant to Western states, and it's also quite relevant to those interested in why there is a change in, in the migration process and in migration routes as Argelians are heading towards the Balkan route. Thank you very much. This short video introduces the audience to the unique case study of Algeria. Since 2019, the country has been undergoing a social and political revolution, similar to the Arab Springs of 2011. A social and political revolution which seeks to overthrow a long-lasting fashade democracy, an authoritarian military currently in power via a coup d'etat. This military elite, which to the eyes of the Western power and states, is trying to establish a constitutional democracy is in fact attempting to perpetuate itself in power via the control of the web 2.0, 3.0, cellular network technologies such as 3G and 4G, social media such as Facebook or Instagram, YouTube, Vimeo, the press and the mass media. Imprisoning and in some cases murdering activists, lawyers and intellectuals which use these mediums as means to denounce basic violations of human rights, such as the case of lawyer Salada Bus, which is also the president of the Argelian League for the Defense of Human Rights. Mm -hmm. Through a number of video and audio interviews carried out in Argelia and the autonomous region of the Kabyle, with key players of the revolution, such as President of the World Amar Sikh Congress, Kamira Nat Said, during the Ramadan of 2019. This video will herald the hypothesis that Argelia is in fact a dictatorship 4.0, an open air prison supporting radical Islamism, human rights violations to minorities such as the Amazigh or the Mosabit Berbers and their cultural heritage as we could see in this video. A regime which is exercising an absolute control over network technologies, which in fact, and paradoxically, are playing a vital role in connecting and informing those which resist this fundamental authoritarianism. Come on!